Da 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 da. It's the motherfucking deal, double G. Effects. Da 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 da. <laughs> you too. Let's get everybody effects here today. I'm back with another video. Now today I'm here to show you guys the demigod glitch working after the patch. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fade Up 2K. That's where I got. You know what I'm saying? Um, the video from. Um. And shout out to Deontay. I'm gonna link his Twitter. He sent me this video. Um, basically, he was the first one to basically um do this right after the patch. He uploaded it quick. It was on PS4 because Xbox got the patch late. The other method was still working for Xbox. Now I just got the Xbox patch. Um, and this method is still working. So if you guys are still in the game, you can still play my career without without um downloading the patch. Like if you guys didn't get the patch, because I didn't get the patch until like uh 20 minutes ago, literally. Uh, and I have good download speed. So first things first, how do you do the glitch? You want to go to features, create roster, official 2K sports roster. Boom. Once you go to here, if you try to press LT again, do not do this. But if you try to press LT, this is how they stop the other glitch. Press LT, press LT again. And you try to scroll down and you try to press B, it doesn't work. So basically, if you try to keep pressing LT, it doesn't work. So that's how they fixed it. So let me show you guys the, the little fix to it, the little workaround. It's just like the first video I uploaded. It's the same exact way. Create a roster, official 2K sports roster. Once you go here, you press start to quick edit. And it's literally just like the same method. Once you see that right stick that I'm able to change something, you go over here, you find somebody in your uh, friends list that's in the neighborhood, and you just join off their, na their name. If nobody's in the neighborhood, right? See, I have nobody in the neighborhood. Uh, Cause nobody's, you know, what I'm saying, plays 2K. I guess go to NBA 2K20 on the looking for group post or the community tab on PS4. You literally just find somebody and whoever's appearing online in their neighborhood, you just join their neighborhood. Some people you can't join. Some people have this set off. You know, what I'm saying that setting set off. Uh, view profile in the neighborhood, join game. You just join that game. You quick edit, leave it so the right stick is available, and you just join the game. Simple steps. Only thing about this method is that you're gonna have to go to the main menu after every game, so it's a little bit it's a little bit harder and a little bit more tedious. But it's you know what I'm saying it's the same simple step. If you're going in my career, this works. And the thing about this that is good though that um because this game got it glitches out, it's not gonna get patched for another three days at least. So you don't have to be rushing. I know like. Knowing that the other glitch could get patched any day, a lot of people were rushing. Like, yo, you could probably take a little bit of your time. Obviously, it's going to get patched when they find the fix to this. But it's not, you don't have to rush about, like, today, like, I, I was like, dang, I still need to get my badges. And now that this glitch is out, I'm not going to rush. I could go do some other stuff. I could play other games and have my fun and do this on my spare time. And once you get over here, you go to stats and you go to roster. And once you get over here, see how they, they don't have the quick edit formation anymore? Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press tri triangle or Y and what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to basically change You know, what I'm saying change who you change your stats right here. So If you if the, you see the rosters how my edited rosters I edited my rosters uh, before and Basically the edited rosters are still gonna be 99 So if you edit like I told you guys in, the, like in my stream last night and in my previous video Make sure you edit it all the rosters to be 5-4 so That's you know, what I'm saying that's what you wanted to do before because they they weren't going to change the rosters unless they did a full patch. So, um, right here, you press A, you press A to bring up, you press A to bring up the horizontal column or A to bring up down the vertical column and you just raise all your stats, just like the first glitch. And, you know what I'm saying? You raise all your stats. Uh, then you press Y or triangle. Once you're done raising it and raise all your tendencies, it's just the same, you know what I'm saying? The same concept, same glitch, uh, same concept. Uh, once your tendencies is all raised up, you press Y or triangle to raise your you know what I'm saying? Raise everything else, your badges. Now, for me personally, I like quick draw on gold and I like steady shooter off because steady shooter um, helps, you know what I'm saying? It helps contested shots, but it messes with your open shots. How do you take this off? So once you go, you go over here to the column and press A until it's a singular. And then once it's a singular, you just take it off and then you, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Now, you know what I'm saying? Once you get that done, make sure you change your hot zones. How do you change your hot zones? Press A to go to the horizontal co horizontal column. Yeah. And then raise your hot zones. Now you can change your height too. Um, just go back over here. Change your position first and then change your height. I'm not going to change my height. I like being the regular height so I get used to my height playing how it is. Um, and once you get here, um, you can you can, you can can go to... Uh, is this other teams? No, this is my same team. Yeah. 
So once you get here, you can either you can go to uh, all positions. I think this is all positions in the whole league, right? No, no, no. This is not all positions. Yeah, this is all positions in the whole. Is this all positions in the whole league? Yeah. So basically, what you what you're doing here is you're pressing RT, and you're going to all the positions in the whole league. You're pressing RT and LT to go to all positions in the whole league. And what you're doing right here is you're changing everybody in the league's positions. So you're going pressing RT and LT and change everybody in the league's positions. Uh, this is how you get here. You press RB and LB to bring up your like all positions, and then you press LT and RT to just keep changing everybody in the league's positions. This is how you change the badges now all at once because if you leave the screen, you'll have to go back into the main menu now. So um, once you get over here, uh, make sure you press RT and then change everybody's position, change to everybody's height in the league down to five four, and then you could turn down their badges as well, but. Uh, we'll do we'll do that like I'm gonna do that on my own time because I want to get this you know what I'm saying for the sake of the video I don't want to make it too long but I'm want to change everybody's height make sure everybody's five four that's all that really matters to be honest the badges and stuff that comes like that's that matters later but five four is what what exactly you want so change everybody down to five four uh, what I'm just doing is I'm just pressing right trigger and left trigger oh yeah that's my team so once you get to your team and you see their seven seven don't change that change everybody else's position um to five four uh they're five 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 is fine that's pretty much all you're gonna do uh and you know what i'm saying you just do that until until everybody's good uh, my bad my camera didn't focus so yeah once you find everybody just keep doing this and then everybody's five four once everybody's five four in the league you see that everybody's five five you can do the badges now you can literally just do the badges you can you can literally just change their badges and stuff like that go to triangle go all the way down to their stats press rt and then go to the different team and go down to their stats and do that one by one all the way down you know what i'm saying you can do that all the way down and that's how you do it and once you're done with that when you when when, you, when everybody has changed how you want instead of pressing you know what i'm saying you just confirm changes right here do you would you like to co confirm your changes yes confirm the changes and then just press circle circle or b once you go circle a B, you, you check your stats to make sure your stats change, uh, 2K card, and then you have all your badges, and it's simple. Now you have all your badges, you can go. Now, if you want to go into the wreck, let's say I wanted to go into the wreck, right? So if I wanted to go to the wreck, what I would do, I would go to my player appearance. I would click go to here. Once I go here, click B, and then press A or circle and then X on, on PS4, boom. Now, after that, I'm just basically just saving my appearance. Once I go there, go to, go to clothes, switch one clothing, and then, you know what I'm saying, switch to other clothing. Basically, all you have to do is switch your clothes once and then change your appearance once. Now, after that is done, all I do is I just literally just easy money, just go play a micro game. And then the micro game, I'm gonna show you guys, still working. Um, it's still working. All you have to do is just go play my career game. The glitch is still working easily. You know what I'm saying? Literally super easy. You can do whatever you want. Um, go play the my career game. I'm going to show you guys that everybody's going to be still 7-7. Seven, seven, and then the enemy team is still going to be 5-4. Um, make sure you do it to all the team rosters. So, like, you don't end up playing a team that's normal height. It's basically going to make it easier. Make sure you guys lower all their badges and lower all their stats triangle is to change from the stats to the badge page to the badge page to the tendency page wire triangle is how you do that and then a is to change the column so you can do it all at once and then rt and rt is to change from team to team and rb is to change from position to position and stuff like that so just you know what i'm saying a heads up so and just play around with it a little bit pause you know what i'm saying because sometimes it gets a little finicky sometimes you have to press rb to go to positions and then you have to press rt or lt to change the team you know what i'm saying it gets a little finicky so i'm gonna hop into the game show you guys that everybody's seven seven and then show you guys the badges show you guys it still works i'm gonna play the game uh fast forward i'm gonna play the game cut into it when i'm at the end of the game and then i'll show you guys how to like basically do it every single game because it's not like before they they definitely did patch it a little bit because you do it one game and then you have to you have to back out every game basically. Um, you can't like do it from the lobby every, anymore. So it's it's a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? They slowed it down, but it's still definitely the best badge grinding method um, currently as of late. Um, so hope you guys, you know what I'm saying, definitely enjoy this. So once you get in, you see how everybody's seven seven and everybody's five four. Still the same, you know what I'm saying? Still the same method. Uh, let me show you guys that the badges are still there. 
the badges are definitely still there everybody's seven seven i'm still six three because i kept my guy six three you can still change your height i showed you guys that but i kept my guy six three because i'm starting to get used to dribbling on a six three again um change it. let's go to box score um i'm gonna change my height right here once you change your height uh you see how i have all all tendencies all um all max scoring uh max scoring and max badges so that's pretty much all it's gonna be and then yeah so everybody seven seven you can just throw alleys if you want you know what i'm saying and everybody's that's how you get playmaking badges for oh yeah so for playmaking badges you want to throw alley oops for finishing badges hop step layups is going to count as an acrobatic layup you're going to get about 850 per hop step layup so you do the math you know what i'm saying you score 100 points that's about 40,000. for um for shooting you just want to do standing shot threes or fadeaway shot threes you know what i'm saying that's that's the best way to do it um on pro make sure you're on pro when you're going for um when you're going for um badges like shooting badges make sure you're on pro because i'm on pro right now because i'm going for shooting badges but like make sure you're on pro for shooting badges but if you're going for like hop step layups and stuff like that and my points um pro it doesn't the difficulty doesn't matter obviously you guys seen i can shoot on hall of fame too but i put this on pro real quick you know what i'm saying because it's, it's even easier like you'll probably shoot 75 percent on hall of fame and you'll shoot like 90 percent on pro so um now for defensive badges, the method for defensive badges is pretty simple. Uh, basically, what I do is um make your guy taller, right? You can either if you, there's two methods. For the short method, you make your guy short and you basically bump him up the court, and then that force ball pickup is gonna basically um it's gonna count as a, a stat. So you want to bump him up the court and force ball pickup, or you can sit in the paint if you're big, sit in the paint, let them pass to the paint. Like um can I get an example of it? Let them pass to the paint like that. Like you see how that guy was open, they'll usually pass to the paint. Make your make everybody on your team about six, nine, six, ten, six, eight. Let them pass to the paint. Uh, stand outside of the paint, let them pass to the paint, and then go in and block it. Easy money. That's how you're gonna do it. So I'ma hop it, I'ma um edit back in when I'm when I'm at the end of the video. I know a couple of you guys asked me like, how do you shoot? You know what I'm saying? What's the best way you found out how to shoot? And pretty much what I do is make your guy a guard. You're gonna shoot way better on a guard. You literally just shoot way better on a guard. What I do is I just run, I just run down. Hold on, it's kind of loud on my background. I just run down the court and what you do is you just run down the court, find an open spot, uh, press back on your stick, press down on your stick, flick your stick down. It's gonna do like a big behind the back um, reset to, to basically shoot a standing shot. And then, you know what I'm saying? Just do that. So run down, back on the stick, and then it's going to basically make it's going to force you to do a standing shot, a standstill shot. And that's pretty much all you're going to do. Make your guy a guard because once you once your height is like over like 610, it's way harder to shoot for some reason. Like I think that was like to, to patch stretches a little bit more. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah, so I, I'll probably show one more shot. You know, what I'm saying I green three in a row. Hopefully I green another one so it doesn't look bad. Yep, did it. So boom, you know, what I'm saying that's that's how I shoot. So I'll add that in the video as well. All right, so once it gets to about 40 seconds in, like I said, uh, just follow me. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Like I said, as a guard, the best way to get defense, you know what I'm saying, is to pretty much force the ball pick up. Make sure you have steel boost on. It's actually going to help even though you have max badges because it's because boosts help your efficiency. See, it doesn't help your stats. People get that confused. So force the ball pickups and stuff like that. It's going to give you a lot of points. Force steals on them when they're dribbling. Just be in the lanes. Every time they pass it, just press X, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, once you get to this point, all right, so they're going to set me up. See, I shot 29 for 33, um, all three pointers, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is on pro difficulty. If you want to shoot easier, make it sure it's on pro pro. What pro does, it doesn't tie into all the other aspects like stamina, uh, fatigue, like fourth quarter fatigue, third quarter, like second half fatigue, all that little stuff that pro doesn't tie into that hall of fame does. Like if you have low stamina, Hall of Fame, the green window is going to be shorter. The green window is a lot higher on pro. So right there, you know what I'm saying? Light, 28K, 18K for shooting, light. You know what I'm saying? This is on pro. I only play 12 minutes. 12 minutes for 18K, just do the math. You know what I'm saying? You do the math. 18K shooting on pro, boom. You know what I'm saying? Get in 1200 VC in 12 minutes. What is that? 100 VC a minute? Hey, bro, that ain't bad. You do the math. You know what I'm saying? Um... So 28K and then 18K for shooting in 12 minutes, literally 12 minutes. So 
once we get here i'm gonna show you guys uh how to how to basically redo the glitch if you want it's a little bit different than last time if you guys are new to the video you know what i'm saying just watch the full video and i'll show you guys everything um basically what this glitch is is a badge glitch and a badge method uh you if you get an upgrade you can upgrade your stats pretty much and that's what, what's going to happen jump shots to use you can use 98 81 um base 11 those are good jump shots to use um once you get over here and you get an incentive you don't want any event appearances you like if you do want to go for more vc yeah but if you're going to be grinding like badges for like all day lower it the the um lower the event appearance it puts your incentives up put your incentives up to like three or four and then lower the event appearances because you don't we don't care we don't care about that we'll, we'll do like three incentives and then he sometimes they'll pull their offer because they don't they don't want to give you incentives so once you know what i'm saying you get here you can either upgrade your progressions if you got a progression i didn't get no progression or badge upgrades but if you were to get one you could upgrade it right here now um you see before we could go back into the roster right and we would be able to edit our stuff now they change that so after every game you would have to go back and quit to the main menu and then you would just restart the steps all over again you know what i'm saying uh restart the steps all over again and that's how you would complete it um i'm gonna show it so what you do right here you go to the main menu create a roster official 2k sports roster uh quick edit press start and go back to what I did in the beginning of the video. You would literally find somebody's group. I mean, see, find somebody's um 2K to join. Um, nobody's online. Okay, boom, perfect. Somebody's online. So find somebody's name to join, and it's just the same the same process. Literally, that's how you do it this time. It's a little bit different. Obviously, they made it a little bit more tedious for us. But we're going to still get the job done. Obviously, this is a badge method, badge glitch, bat, you know what I'm saying? Badge method. Same thing for Wreck if you guys want to do it. So it's it's definitely, they definitely change it so it's not going to be working for Park like that. Because nobody's going to load out just to go in to play another Park game. So that's like, that's very tedious. For Wreck, people are going to still be doing it in the Wreck. Um, and people are going to definitely still do it for my career for your badges. I recommend doing it for my career. Getting your guy max badges and then having fun with the game. I don't recommend badge glitching in the Wreck. If, if you not like that, bro, it's just it's just about getting your badges up at the end of the day, bro. All that other stuff is is is, is for fun if you want, but it's not it does it gets boring after a while. So after this, you know what I'm saying, we can edit, we can re-edit all our stats, right? See, I can edit all my stats. I can edit my stats up. It's the same thing. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm out. Peace.